Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at Nordstrom and Nordstrom stock. Um, if you guys don't know what Nordstrom is, it is a retail brand that mainly operates in the US but it does ship to Europe and I guess other continents as well. And um, why am I making this video? And that's a pretty uh, interesting question because Nordstrom fell 5.88% and I grabbed some of its stock today. Um, I do intend to buy more stock if it falls more down and I want to give some of my reasons why you should be also maybe thinking of purchasing this company and why you should not be too afraid of like the number of short sellers in the stock because I do believe there is a short squeeze coming pretty soon um, as you can see as of 29 September uh, this year there are around 38% of short percentage of float that's a pretty high number actually any number above 10 percent short people shorting uh, the stock is a lot um it's hold 73 percent by institutions and 32 percent which is the nordstrom family and i believe their ceo is also a nordstrom person i think it's the grandson of the founder of the business so um I'm going to be giving some reasons and I'm also going to be giving some of the price targets that been, have been happening in the past. So um, once, when, when we go to Nordstrom's website and we scroll through some of their uh, items, as you can see, they have a lot of collection of items um, from dresses to mugs to bikinis and stuff. And one thing you can see is it's pretty damn expensive, guys. I mean, seriously, 53 euros for this. 17 euros for this it's pretty expensive and in europe as well they've got some versace but that's not um nordstrom but as you, you get you guys get the point it's pretty expensive and it's definitely not targeting the average person it's targeting a bit more towards the rich people i would say um let's just go to some of their blazers because i do know they make some very nice blazers um, I saw a guy who did shopping from Nordstrom and he got a thousand dollar bill. So as you can see, five hundred dollars for this suit, one hundred thirty five dollars, three hundred dollars. So you get the point. It's pretty expensive. Um, but one thing I don't like with Nordstrom is when we go to its actual financials, uh, it's trading at a two billion market cap as of today. When we go to its financials, it's making around fifteen billion um a year. And what I'm really surprised with is with I would have expected a much higher margins. It's only uh, making 564 million in earnings, uh, which is a little bit of a disappointment. But I do think as the internet uh, boom basically provides more e-commerce sales, that they can actually increase their margins because it's online. You gotta have you spend less money on your operations to, of operating, having a store and paying the rent and paying to the people working in there so i do believe they can improve their margins and i only think uh, this is going to be the start of the boom for nordstrom and more and more people are going to start to order online definitely in the future um but i would definitely like to see this go a bit more down so the projected loss for this year will be minus four hundred fifty seven thousand, which is a bit sad but i do think there's a great quarter three coming up in the third week of november i believe they haven't announced the actual date um but as you can see if you look around one year ago nordstrom was trading at 41 dollars the lowest it really went to was 13.18 and now it's already lower than that so i mean it did go all the way up to 23 so that's almost almost double from here so if a vaccine or any type of good news can pump the market sentiment up and the vaccine comes and like people start going to retail stores again i do expect nordstrom going at least to 23 or 24 and since there's so many uh short sellers as i showed you 38 percent what's going to happen is when you uh when the stock starts to go up or there's some good news powered by good earnings and they beat revenue or, or estimates of eps then the stock's going to start to go up and when the stock starts to go uh, up the people who are short sellers are going to be forced to buy back by the lenders their stock so or they choose to buy back and when you want to exit a short sale position you're going to have to do the opposite and you're going to have to buy back the stock and buying the, the stock back you're going to have to pay a higher price and that's going to lift the stock back up and 
I do see Nordstrom at an attracted dividend yield of 12.16%. Obviously, they've cut the dividend, but they will reintroduce the dividend back if things go good and they're in profit next year. And um, I just want to say they were struggling a little bit before this pandemic hit. I mean, they were at 66 and they did fall, I mean, around uh, in one year time, 61%. So their business wasn't doing that great. I mean, it did come to 29 in August, but then it started to do good and it recovered a bit. And then this pandemic struck. So it is one of its lifetime lows. I mean, it's the same price as it was in the Great Depression. In fact, it went to 11.91, I think the lowest, I believe. And before that, you could find these prices like 17 years ago. So you have a pretty good advantage here. Um, obviously, Nordstrom can go to... Uh, 20 pretty soon with a short short squeeze happening and I do think it's going to come pretty soon pretty pretty soon once this vaccine is announced and I think the vaccine will be there around um, November and December and it will be going to the elderly people and the most vulnerable people so that will help some uh, gain for Nordstrom and make an overall nice sentiment to the market um now we're going to be looking at some of the ratings from the big banks um as as you can see they've all lowered their targets and that's something i've realized that when the stock goes down banks obviously tend to just like lower the targets but i mean some of the targets aren't that low i mean i see a target of 30 19 14 is actually the lowest by bank of america but like i don't see any like 12s or 11s so it's definitely really low the price right now and it's going to rise um obviously i am waiting for uh, more market crashes because nordstrom i know is being sh uh, short sold a lot and if the market crashes more I, I i mean i can see come to 11 and even 10 and that's when i'm really going to start buying as i definitely don't think this company is going to go bankrupt pretty much soon um its debt is not the highest it doesn't have debt but not the highest, and I do think they'll be able to pay off their debt. Um, and I was going to say something else, but um, I did get a comment one time from someone say that their debt was really high. Um, I'm going to pretty much see their debt right now. Their debt is $1.8 billion, which is... Um, which is okay, it's long-term debt, and I do think they'll be able to pay that. So basically, Nordstrom stock is already priced for bankruptcy, and people are literally thinking this company's going to go bankrupt. I mean, it can go bankrupt. I'm not saying it won't go bankrupt, uh, but it can go bankrupt if this virus second wave, or let's say third wave, really accelerates and the economy does have to shut down. It probably will go bankrupt, but I don't think... Um, under the rule of President Donald Trump, he's going to let the economy shut down. I don't know if Joe Biden might win. He might close down the economy. So it's a big risk in a way, but the return you can get, the risk to reward ratio, let's say, is pretty high for Nordstrom. And um, since this is a speculative uh, play, I would recommend you to uh, have your money managed pretty well and only put in what you are afford to lose, I would say, and don't put too much. I mean, your portfolio should be mainly like tech heavy and the stocks for the future. These stocks uh, should not make up most of your portfolio. So maybe like one or two percent, maybe five percent, more not more than ten percent, I would say, for a Nordstrom spec play. Um, and I think that will be it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Um, if you guys have any comments, let me know down below in the comment section below and like this video. And that will be it, guys. I'll see you guys next time.